Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome in if this is your first time. We are doing yet another video for Happy Home Paradise. We are doing Yuka. Yuka is an interesting character. I chose Yuka for a very important reason, and I chose this location for a very important reason. In this video, I want to try to do something, and I want to kind of explain some things. So, Yuka is wanting a jungly kind of vibe going on. And so I wanted to have some waterfalls, but I also kind of wanted to have some foresty vibes going on too. So let's get started with Yuga. Okay, so the first thing, again, I was today years old when I realized that you were able to actually customize and change the bridges, guys. Hello. Did anybody else know this? Leave it in the comments if you are aware, and I'm just out of tune with everything. <laughs> so, let's customize the bridge. Let's do something kind of fun. I don't know. I kind of like the log. I, I mean, the suspension bridge kind of fits the jungle vibes. I might keep it, um, but I just kind of wanted to take this opportunity to showcase it in a video that you do now have the option to change the bridge that... If there is a bridge connected to your villager's home and happy home paradise, you are able to change it. I think... I kind of like... I like the suspension bridge. Maybe the wood... Well, we'll go with the wooden bridge. I might change my mind a little bit later. We'll see. So, we're in a jungle. What do we need? Hello. We need a whole bunch of everything, y'all. So... Okay. My my style, as you guys know by now, I'm the kind of person that I just throw everything down, see what works, and as you've seen in previous videos of mine, I add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So, I use what I learned in school. <laughs> um, I do it for a couple of reasons. A, I love playing with kind of I love playing with space and with dimensions and just to kind of see what works where what doesn't and how much of one thing I'm really going to need in terms of making this outside look really cute and I want to see if I do have them okay. Will they? They will. Yay! Okay. I'm going to use the vines to see kind of what I could get away with. Okay. You're not able to float on water, silly goose. Why were you thinking you could float on water? You haven't you haven't earned that power yet. <laughs> All right, so I definitely want to I'm gonna just leave that tree where it was at. Okay, I'm gonna have to subtract some guys because the house is hidden. <laughs> Definitely kind of want these hydrangeas to flank. We definitely need a pathway to the house. Okay, I want to add some more of these bamboo. I'm pl I'm using the bamboo and the cedar as kind of height differentials because I think playing with height is so important and it adds so much volume and so much character and dimension. You can even utilize this on your own island as well. Just kind of playing with those different heights and just kind of seeing you know what works and what doesn't. Again, I kind of want to go with a hut. I feel like I've been doing a hut lately. But jungle, you can't go wrong with a hut. A hut is where it's at. Yeah. 
Yes, queen. Yes. I kind of wish the doors, though, had a more, like, jungly vibe. Like, there was a straw door or some kind of door that wasn't so modern. I just kind of have to go with a calm wooden door. And we're in the jungle, so we're going to have flowers. Most definitely. What kind of wreath? There we go. Let's be fancy and put a blue wreath on there. Definitely don't want to overcrowd it, but you also want to be able to get through. So, add, subtract, multiply, and divide, friends. That is the mathematical equation of the day. <laughs> cool. Come on, Yuka. Let's go inside. Okay. Decorator mode. First of all, we am going to make that just a teeny bit bigger. I am down with not the concrete. Darker wood. Yes. Jungle vibes. Jungle vibes. <laughs> Alright, so, peacock chair. The man-eating plant over here. Okay, so now I think, yes, we're going to use some vine elements. I love it. Let's see. I kind of want some tonal differences, so bear with me, guys. Hang on. You're probably thinking, Aaron, you're a maniac. What are you doing, you fool? Bear with me, please. I am hoping to make history today, guys. Those are so cute. So, so cute. I love these giant vines. Gotta have some leaf patterns, right? Oh yeah, this dude is definitely like he or she. I'm not sure what the pronouns are. Definitely living it up. Okay, I want. The obvious jungle wall, jungle flooring. Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna get lost. The fun has begun. The fun has begun, friends. Okay. Why are you being so. There we go. Okay. So, what I think is kind of cute is the vine bench kind of next to the giant vine. It kind of looks like the vines are growing up underneath and kind of it's making it look a little more overgrown, which I think is so, so fun and really kind of important when you're when you're going for an aesthetic that isn't, I don't want to say that isn't common, but one that is so thematic Definitely keeping it with some of those kind of ideas, I think, will play to our strengths very, very well. Okay. Okay, so we got some leaf patterns. Got some leaves, got some leaves. All right, peacock chair. You're going to have to come to be a different color. How oh, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Stay with me, you guys. Stay with me, baby. We're going to have 
We're not going to have a fire because Smokey the Bear said only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> So, I don't know that I necessarily want to use it as seeding, but okay, so it can, oh, it can go there. See, listen, you can go there. You can do this. I believe in you, said the condescending man. <laughs> That is so, so funny. That's funny, that condescending is funny, but, okay, yeah. Um, let's see. I want a glowing moss stool. Ooh, or mushrooms grow in the jungle. All sorts of fun mushrooms grow in the jungle. Okay, so let's let's do that and let's have some let's have some psychedelic mushrooms. Be kind of growing everywhere. Why are you so big? Like I don't get it. Why are you taking up more squares than I want you to? Excuse me. Sir, that's not the button I wanted to push. Thank you. Four. Okay. Let's do. Okay. I like the mushroom vibes. Mushy vibes. Mushy vibes are good. So let's do. Alphabetical. Go to M. E, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and M. I know my alphabet. Okay, come on. We can get there faster, friends. Let's do this. Let's go. I wish we had a search function. Like you can start typing the name of the item that you want, and there it is. That would be magical. I think we would find dinosaur bones <laughs> in the jungle. <laughs> I'm tempted. <laughs> Trust me. I am tempted to put... Oh, oh, I could brain blast. Okay. Thank you for that inspiration, friends. From wherever you are, you came to mind. You came to mind. Okay. Let's do a mushroom partition against that wall. Yes, okay, yes. I'm so happy you like it, you okay? Hey, listen, okay, listen to me. There we go. That's what I need you to do. That is how I need you to interact from now on, okay? Thanks so much. Okay. Now that I... Oh yes, I gotta have some strange mushies. Okay. Their little clap is just so cute. Yeah, you're worried about that one? You're like, okay, listen dude, you were fine, and then you had to go and mess it up, and I was vibing with you, and then all of a sudden, you put stuff in my way that I didn't want. I'm sorry. I thought it looked cute. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Fossils. Fossils. Yes. Yes. Because you would find those in a forest. Look. You could just like. Ah. The angels sang and they were happy. Okay, so why? Okay, you were fine there. Okay, all right, have it your way. Okay. 
Okay. So what we're gonna we're gonna do? Oh, <laughs> look at that! Look at that! I love it. I need one more. Okay. Fossil, you're gonna have to go on that stool because I need this plant. Rattler. Oh! Look at that. Cute and simple. I like it. What do you think, Yuka? Yes, it is ready. Yes, friend, it is ready. There you have it, guys. There's Yuka's jungly, jungly, foresty, happy place. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, hit that bell so that you know when my next live is. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope to see you on the next video.